Hi Aries, I'm Pam, the Lucky Mermaid, Psychic Seer and Modern Mystic, bringing you psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides for December 2023. Please be sure to watch your sun sign, your rising sign, and your moon sign to get a more clear and complete picture of what's to come for you in December and perhaps beyond because timing will be different for all of you in these general readings. Remember, sometimes your rising sign and your moon sign will resonate more for you than your sun sign. And if you are born on the cusp of your sign, some months your psychic predictions and messages are coming to you from there, so you might want to check that out. This recording is for Aries Sun, Aries Rising, and Aries Moon. I'm using the Hanson Roberts Tarot deck in this reading. All that being said, Aries, now on to your December 2023 Psychic Tarot reading. So the first card you have in your reading, Aries, is the Eight of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles is a card that symbolizes uh, the card of the apprentice, learning a new craft, learning a new skill, starting a new job, starting a new business, and gaining financial gains and rewards from your work and efforts at this, you know, what you're learning to do. Could also be uh, looking at and analyzing your finances also. It doesn't just have to be work related. It could be finance related. I get, I hear my guide say, you're starting to get the hang of this. So it could be something, some new skill or something you're learning or starting to do that's new for you, career-wise, work-wise, investment-wise, business-wise. And you may feel especially competitive this month where you may feel like I've got to do, I've got to show the competition up. I've got to be better than those guys. I got to have better prices. I got to go the extra mile, be better with customer service, pricing, whatever. I get that you're going to feel like you need to do that. And some of you are getting invested into something really deeply. It could be a new aspect of your work, a new aspect of your career, a new aspect of your business or job. And you may come up with the solution, Aries, where you're like, this is where I'm going to make all my money. This is where I'm going to really succeed. Or this is what's here. This is the ticket. You know, you're going to feel like that. Like you've found the, 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 you found the goose that laid the golden egg or you're like in Willy Wonka where you found the golden ticket in the chocolate bar. And you may feel really in tune with your work or your business or your finances like I'm in tune with this. I'm plugged into it. I'm uh, I'm a moving and a shaking and a moving and a grooving and it's rolling along just how I want it to. Like you could really feel that way this month of December. And this could be a month where things light up that you're doing that your work, your business or your work and your business or your crafts or your skills or your hobbies uh, light up like they're really lit up this month. And that's going to bring you financial gain. The more popular you are, the more popular your work is, or your products, your services, your talents, your skills, the work that you're doing, uh, or how you're investing your money. It's all, whatever it is, it's lit up. My guides are saying lit up, and this is going to be uh, beneficial to you financially in the long run. And if you had any particular financial goals or work goals or business goals or anything like that, I feel like you achieve those goals this month. You achieve your, your business work money uh, goals that you've been maybe thinking about or working on for months. And you're going to be very protective of any trade secrets. 
I don't know what else to call them because my guides are referring to them as trade secrets, but anything that would fall under that category. So the card you have next in your reading, Aries, is the Page of Cups. And this is a water sign person, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, sun sign, rising sign, or moon sign. It could be you if you have a rising sign or a moon sign that's a water sign, or if you're born on the cusp of Pisces and Aries, it could be you. Pages can be children. They can also be adults that are immature or young at heart. If it's a messenger, it would be a message about emotions, love, uh, or anything on those lines. You may find out that there's been a big breach of contract or a breach of trust with a water sign person. You may find out that they've been telling you things that are not true. And you may catch them in the act of some kind of action or lie, and they may really, really, really want you to forgive them. I feel like you're going to be kind of like stupefied. Like you're not, you're, you're not going to believe it at first. You're going to be like, no way, this is not possible. Could be quite surprising what you find out about the Page of Cups. What they've been doing, what they've been saying, what they've been up to, or things that they've been deceiving you about. This card can also be symbolic, Aries, that you, my guides are saying, if, it, if this is your rising sign, moon sign, or cusp sign, that you need to open your heart up to somebody, maybe somebody new, or somebody that you're intertwined with in your life. You may need to open your heart up to them. In December. You may need to show someone love, gratitude, like all that energy comes up. You may need to express that to them. There could be a water sign person that you need to help them out of some kind of difficulty or trouble that they've gotten into. There's a lot of duplicity around the Page of Cups. They could be saying one thing and doing the other. That also comes up with them. I keep getting this, like, some of you are going to be shocked, mad, or embarrassed about or by or about the Page of Cups or by their actions and words. They may look at you like, I'm smarter than you think I am. I know more than you think I do. This could be somebody that is like one of your kids or a student to you that has felt like they've learned a lot of what they're doing from you. And that could be in a positive sense or a negative sense uh, because I do see them looking at you like that. Like I... I've learned a lot from you, or I've learned everything I know how to do from you, or that kind of energy comes from the Page of Cups toward you. You may feel like you need to have big conversations with a water sign person and big talking to. Now, remember, if you have, if, if this is you in some way, you may be having to have big conversations with yourself. <laughs> So the next card in your reading is the Seven of Rods, and this is closing the door or keeping at bay negative actions, energy, communications that could be coming at you. It can also be indicating taking the moral high ground in a situation. If there's something that goes wrong, I feel like you're going to be telling other people, like if you got bosses or clients or customers or family members coming to you and complaining about it, you're going to be like, I'm going to fix it. I hear you going, I'm going to take care of it. I'm going to fix it. So you could have some people that are barraging, coming at you in a barrage of like complaints. Or, this isn't working right. This is wrong. Da, 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 da. And you may be like, whoa, put on the brakes. I'm going to fix it. I'm going to take care of it. That kind of energy is coming from you to them. There could also be things that are breaking down that you need to get fixed and need to take care of them 
if it's not people coming at you complaining about it, like clients, customers, patients, uh, higher ups, coworkers, whatever, it could be things going on in your home that need to be fixed. You know, you could have garbage disposals breaking down or washers or dryers or, you know, and you know what? <laughs> I think we're in the Mercury goes retrograde in December. I'm recording this in, in November because I have to record them ahead of time. And uh, how many times have you seen this happen? Not only in retrograde, but around Christmas time. If things are going to break, they break on Christmas Day or Christmas Eve. <laughs> so that happens a lot. You, you may have to put out some kind of statement or sign, like sign on your business, sign on your website, sign on something else, some kind of notification, put out there somewhere text messages, email blasts, whatever it is, to let people know that you're aware that something is wrong, something isn't right, or need time, you know, please take note, need time to fix this issue, blah, blah, blah. You may have to put that out there to stop, uh, like I said, this barrage of complaints or, you know, people coming at you. If you say the wrong thing and put your foot in your mouth, which Aries are known to do. I have a lot of Aries people in my life. I have Aries rising, but I've, I know lots of Aries and are friends with Aries and related to Aries. And a lot of times Aries put their foot in their mouth. Don't get mad at me, Aries. I've seen it. <laughs> I've witnessed it many times and I've done it myself. If you do that, you're going to have people jumping all over you. Just be prepared. So now on to card number four, which is two of pentacles. So this is weighing your options, having to make a decision or a choice between, between two things. It can mean seeking balance. There's emotions tied up here in this decision or option weighing. You may be trying to fix things, yes, but you may also be pondering where do I want to put my energies and my focus? Where should my, you know, like, where should my focus lie? Where should my energies go? Toward what? You may also be feeling like I'm doing things in this one way and I'm, I've been doing them this way and this is how I always do them. But is there a way to make this easier on myself and I could do things in a, it more easily. So I feel like you could be weighing some, like, do I do this an old way or a new way? That could be involving cooking. That could be involving your regular job or your work or your business or something that you always do that you're like, I always do it this way, but if I do it this way, it may be much easier. So you may be pondering things of that nature. You also may feel like there are certain things you need to do that you need to take care of yourself physically and medically, medically. So you could be like, do I take this medication or do I not? Do I take this natural way, this natural pathway, or do I do the Western medicine way? So you could be weighing treatment options. You could be weighing medications. You could be weighing which route do you want to go. Uh, maybe, maybe there's a choice of have a surgery or not have a surgery. So to do with your health and wellness could be some things you're weighing your options about here as well. Because you also may be weighing side effects. Like if I take this medicine, I have, could have these side effects. If I get this surgery, it may work, but then I got to recuperate and that could be hard. Like these types of weighing uh, and trying to seek balance and weighing options could be going on for some of you. You could also be trying to figure out a calculated risks about your money. Should I invest in this property or not? 
Should I sell my property and buy another place or wait? You know, there, there could be option weighing about investing in stocks, bonds, money, whether to take money out of credit unions or out of IRAs or not. These are some of the things. So your option weighing looks like it's on quite a few different areas. Definitely medical, uh, medicine, uh, medical health, treatments, investments, investing. These are a big part of the thing and, and what to invest in or not uh, are some strong themes that come up here with this two of pentacles showing up for you. And also doing things in an old way or a new new way that could make it easier. So your last card of the reading is the four of rods and the four of rods is attending a wedding. You could be throwing a wedding for somebody else in your family. This could be you getting married. This could be attending a celebration or gathering. And it could also indicate success coming to you in springtime. Aquarius also got this same card. Some of you that have been dating or seeing somebody from a, for a while, uh, don't be surprised that you get engaged. You could get engaged because I hear proposal. Now, it could be a proposal of marriage, which is what I feel the strongest, but it could also be proposal of something else going on, like a, a business proposal or, you know, a proposal for a short term gig or something that could be, uh, you know, beneficial to you in some way. You could provide certain information to someone and you could receive some kind of kickback or bonus uh, for that information. It could be like uh, a payoff, um, a kickback, a payoff, or a bonus. It could be for extra work you do or for certain information that you gather and then turn over to whomever needed it. Some of you may linger long outside in December. You may take a trip or a vacation. You could go somewhere tropical uh, because in December, if you live in a, in a climate where it's cold, you may want to get out of that cold and you may want to go someplace tropical. Or it could be maybe you live in the reverse and, you know, maybe you want to go skiing or camping or something, but wanting to go away uh, and spending out time outside for Aries people comes up strongly here. Some of you may feel very inspired to redo or redecorate your home in some way, adding an addition or, you know, tearing up floors and putting down tile or hardwood floors or putting up new sheetrock. I do see some of you valuing time that you spend with somebody that's near and dear to your heart in December. And again, for some of you, that could lead to a proposal or an engagement. Some of you may be really going out of your way to improve and upgrade your lifestyle in some way. Could be to do with what you eat, how you exercise, things to do with your physical body, your environment, where you live, whatever would be like upgrading to your lifestyle. You may be and improving it. You may be looking into that. And that can mean a lot of things, physical health, physical place that you live. Think about it. There's a lot of possibilities there, Aries. So unfortunately, I am not at my normal location and I did not remember to bring my velvet bag of gems with me. So I apologize. I don't have a crystal to pull for you right here at this time in this video. So I hope this video is of help to you and I hope it made sense. As always, thank you so very much for watching. I do truly appreciate it. 
And please like this video if you do and share it with others if you feel it's worth sharing and subscribe to this channel if you would like to and click that notification bell when you do subscribe. That way you'll get notified when I upload my videos here to YouTube. And if you would like to get any of my special video series I record for my Vimeo on-demand pages where I look at very specific topics using a variety of divination tools, bringing you messages and predictions from my spirit guides for each sign of the zodiac for those topics, you can access the most recently recorded video series by clicking on the links down below in the description box in the show more section. And you can also get these videos by going to my website at the luckymermaid.com videos page. And there you can scroll down that page, see all the different uh, video series I've recorded, what divination tools I've used, how long the predictions go out for. And then you just click on whatever zodiac sign you want under the heading of the video series you want and that link will take you to that video on Vimeo. Now it's that time of year again. If you want to get my psychic tarot readings for the new year of 2024 using the 10 card Celtic cross tarot spread, those videos are available on Vimeo. If you got all three of your signs, sun, moon, and rising, that would be 30 cards with multitudes of predictions. But if you just want to get one sign, you could go by whatever resonates for you here on my YouTube readings. If you're trying to decide which to choose, if whether you just want to get one video or your rising sign and your sun sign or all three. Also, don't forget my Psychic Crystal readings for the month of December 2023, where I bring you psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides as an expansion or a continuation of the Psychic Tarot readings that I do here on my YouTube and my Rumble channel. That link is down below in the description box. And I look at all the different uh, areas of life I can think of to look at. So if you've never checked out my crystal readings, you might want to do so. And the links are also on my website. <clears throat> also, we had two eclipses in October that you're being affected by. They may even go out for a year of being affected by those eclipses because when I did those two different video series, they did not end at six months like usual. A lot of times eclipse effects last six months or are the strongest for the first three to six months. But I had predictions going out past the six month mark. So the first series of the eclipses is the new moon solar eclipse in Libra, October 14th, 2023, psychic tarot, crystal and oracle card reading. The second series is the full moon lunar eclipse in Taurus, October 28th, 2023, psychic tarot, crystal and oracle card readings. They are, uh, that is the final series in the Taurus Scorpio axis. So you may want to see how these eclipses are going to affect you for the next year. Also, my Horseshoe Tarot seven card spread psychic tarot readings. I recorded them in August. Those predictions go out for a full year till August of 2024. So you might want to check those out. That's a lot of predictions and messages in those Horseshoe Tarot spread readings. And they're often one of the most popular video series that I sell on my Vimeo on demand videos. Also, my career and finance psychic readings are available. They were recorded in April of 2023, and the predictions go out all the way until the end of October 2024. So you may want to check that out. I don't know that I'm going to repeat doing those. That's still up in the air. I may change them, but I don't know that I'm going to still do the same format for the career and finance readings. So if you want to get the uh, format I've been doing for several years, this might be your last chance to get those videos done in that way.
Also, if you would like to get more psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides channeled through me that you're not going to see here on a video format, you may want to check out my social media pages at The Lucky Mermaid LLC on Facebook and The Lucky Mermaid underscore Pam Georgell on Instagram and also The Lucky Mermaid on X, formerly known as Twitter. I really post there almost every day, so you might want to check that out. And hey, don't forget, I'm on Rumble now because you never know what could happen over here. They get rid of alternative stuff all the time. So just in case, if one day you look for the Lucky Mermaid and you don't see her here giving you predictions and messages, you may want to follow me on Rumble. My channel name is The Lucky Mermaid LLC, all one word. Or you could find me under the heading of Psychic Tarot and Crystal Readings. So it's a little confusing to me over there because I had a channel name and then I had to create that name. So it'll be either under one of those two names, The Lucky Mermaid LLC or Psychic Tarot and Crystal Readings. And you can see the same videos I'm posting here over there. Um, also, I'd like to say if you would like to help support the channel and the readings that I do here on YouTube, you could donate to this channel. I have a link down below under all the video links connected to PayPal. Thank you so much to those of you who have been very kind and generous and donated to my channel. It does mean a lot to me and it does truly help me a lot. And whenever you buy the videos on Vimeo, you are helping support this channel. So I hope you'll consider doing that. And you're going to, for cheaper than a cup of coffee at Starbucks, you can get some psychic predictions and messages from the, me at the, on my Vimeo On Demand videos. So I hope you have an absolutely amazing and outstanding and happy uh, month of December 2023. And know that I wish you many blessings and peace.